Good morning from what is a beautiful, sunny, delightful, but very, very cold Manchester. I hope I find you very well. Um, what I want to talk about today is to ask you a question. White people, what the hell are you doing? Do you have absolutely no shame? No shame. You should be burying your head in the sand and hiding yourself from the whole population. Why? Well, you've seen the title. You should be shameful. What are you, what are you doing? So where does this come from? Well, let me tell you. Um, I'm going to have to read something here. Um, now, I apologise to everyone, including the person involved, if I do not pronounce said person's name correctly. This is a BBC presenter. Uh, his name is Nihao Afaniyake. Uh, he's uh, Asian. Um, These are the top results. Just bear with me. Let me just have a look here for you. I'm going to show you who he is. I've never seen him. I have no idea who he is. I have no idea uh, what job he does on the BBC. Um, but this is from uh, the London newspaper, The Standard. It says that BBC presenter says overwhelmingly white workplaces affects his mental health that is the article if you want to look for it yourself online there it is basically what he says is that when he goes into the BBC what he sees and these are his words from what I saw on the news this morning I am overwhelmed by a sea of white faces white faces now, Britain, regardless of all immigration, of all colours that are non-white, is still an 81% white Christian, with a small c, population. So, I want to ask this person, in any set of circumstances, given the population in Britain here, is 81% white what is the most common skin color he's going to see would it be white who knows the problem basically here is well it's twofold one if he is so uh, racially minded and biased that he expects what is a very woke organization the BBC to uh, change their complete workforce solely for him even the BBC are not going to do that and two if he expects the demographic of the country to change so drastically so that he doesn't feel overwhelmed by this then may I suggest he could be in the wrong country maybe if he lives in a situation whereby his community is overwhelmingly Asian then this is the problem this is where integration fails this is where cultural diversity fails and this is where the balance of the scales is is out of kilter and I can make this point very well by asking one further question can you imagine the outrage if I wandered into my employment and said I'm just overwhelmed by the number of black and brown faces in here. In fact, so much so am I overwhelmed that it's affecting my mental health. Can you even calculate the shitstorm that would be caused by making that kind of statement by someone who looks like me? But because this person 
is BAME and because this person works for a poisonous horrible woke organization called the BBC he can get away with it now in my view what he said is not only unpalatable but racist but it's becoming more and more clear to me the older I get the more I see the route that this country is taking that if you're fortunate enough and I did say fortunate to be black or brown you can't be racist you can do anything say anything you can apply for jobs that white people are not allowed to apply for again I point you towards the BBC there's lots of evidence of that online this is ridiculous and the government do not care well we know they don't care but they certainly don't care about the majority population in this country who are all just expected to carry on taking this I'm disgusted by this article I'm disgusted by this person I am I am forever disgusted by the BBC who are a biased peddler of bullshit who are just so woke they should be broken down and put out of business because they charge at the moment 159 pounds a year to to watch television not just their television to watch anybody's live output anyone's and we're expected to pay that for their bile this has to end it's it's ridiculous it, it, it's it shouldn't be allowed and this kind of although we are a, a free country and I support free speech you, you've got to look at what has been said how it's been said and by whom it was said by and then ask you the question if I'd have been put in that scenario and said the same about black and brown faces not only would have been sacked I would have ended up in court for a race hate incident this really needs to end and it needs to end now and the only way for this to end is for the white population en masse to come out and make it clear that we're not going to stand for this any longer but sadly as we know most people are just apathetic they will just let it go by and hope somebody else will deal with it on their behalf maybe it's time to try and to get a petition online to get this discussed in the House of Commons let me know if you would sign a petition like that just to get this discussed because the racial bias now is swinging in one direction there is no middle line where we all get along and we're all governed by the same rules and regulations it, that's not happening anymore I'm just absolutely incensed by this it, it needs to end he needs to be sacked he needs to be disciplined and something needs to happen to him because racist comments like this hidden under the uh, apparent get out of jail free card of mental health is unacceptable so that's it for this one please let me know down below what your thoughts on this please let me know whether you would sign a, a petition to get this and remember if you're going to get a petition to get it discussed in the house it needs a hundred thousand signatures but I do believe it does need to be discussed anyway that's it for this one um, give it a thumbs up post it around it's important that people know about what this man has said subscribe 
let's get these these videos out there I'm trying to cover really important issues at the moment so for now that's it thanks a lot for watching bye bye